Hi, I have designed this 3D printed enclosure for the heating the device called a W1209. I will first demonstrate how this works and then I will take apart the 3D print afterwards so we can look how it is inside. This electronics can either work so it turns on when you are above a certain temperature because you start the cooling fan or you can set it so it turns off a healing, heating element because you're above a certain temperature. What I have right now is it's in heating mode. So pretend that it's connected to some kind of heating device and it's giving uh, electricity right now. And then when the temperature goes above 24 degrees, then the relay will turn off and then we have zero volts right now. So that's how it works. So uh, let's look uh, how it is inside, how I have designed this, because it's both the electronics to control it and the power supply, so we can connect it directly to mains electricity. So first I will just turn off the device, uh, so I don't electrocute myself, and then let's have a look at how it is inside. And of course you can download the files for this. But uh, let's uh, take it apart. So what we have here is that I have used uh, three millimeter screws for everything. So that is all you have. They are a different length. And did I say that it has very strong strain relief. So this is a, both a combination of an enclosure for the electronics and it is um, very strong strain relief and it is the power supply itself. So let's have a look and this is what probably where I should have had a device to unscrew these screws. But uh, you have to live with me unscrewing it here. There's plenty of other similar devices on the or similar 3D prints, but this is the only one I have seen that combines uh, main electricity, which I think uh, probably uh, most people would uh, like to use it with. Uh, so let's see. When I designed it, I would have preferred that the screws was actually lower. Uh, so if we look here, it actually bends a little. Uh, so I would have preferred that I had two screws there, but, but if I should have this, then the entire device needed to be larger. So this is where I stopped. I mostly designed for myself, for my own uh, sake. So um, this is good enough for me, but the design is uh, very low poly, so it's easy to edit and uh, make changes to it. But uh, I think we are soon here. Now, and let's uh, take it apart. And uh, let's see if we can. Almost. It was uh, quite a few times I needed to print this. But here we have it, uh, the insides. So we see that I have included a high link power supply. It's uh, these guys here. Uh, my unit is 12 volt and it fits exactly to the sc two screw terminals that's uh, right there. So no wire uh, is required to connect the DC line into this electronics. And then of course the AC line goes down here. It is fed the main electricity right here, uh, neutral and phase. And the phase is split uh, to the, electri the DC transformer itself and to be switched on and off right here and the neutral is shared between all of it and then the phase uh, to, to be turned on it's right there and it goes down and into uh, the outlet here and then we have these two very very strong strain reliefs i have made these are similar to my uh, uh, vago strain relief uh, coupler here so that's it. It was a little hard to get room for everything, but I, I think I managed it. So yes, 3D files, STL files are available in the, the description of this video. So uh, you can download it. 
I have made it, you don't need to have multicolor, but I have made it so the first layer, first two layers are multicolor if you want text on it. But of course you can just not use that. Or you can use a special trick to print multicolor on a printer that is not multicolor capable, but where you just manually swap between them because you only need to swap three times filament and then that's it. Yes. Thank you. Bye.